Hello friends! In this video I will be reviewing the Karen Brushmarker Pro Brush Pen for Hand Lettering. I've been asked recently to do this review and so I'm excited to finally get it up for you. This isn't a sponsor post or anything but I did want to let you know that Karen Markers did send me this pack and they also sent me the metallic brush pens so I just wanted to let you know that before we get into this review. But this brush pen has kind of been going around on Instagram, it's become really popular and a lot of people are saying that it's really similar to the Sharpie Stained. Now, I don't think they're identical. Um, I think that this brush tip is a little bit bigger. I'd have to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but if I remember correctly, I think that this one is a little bit bigger, but it definitely does hold up really well. That's one of the things that a lot of people love about the Sharpie Stained is that it holds up really well, and it seems to be really hard to get that marker to fray, and that has been my experience with the Karen markers as well. The brush tip is also just a really good size. It's kind of that in-between, not too big, but not too small size. That can be a little bit easier to control, in my opinion. Many of the colors are also very juicy, and, and they seem to just last a really long time. I haven't noticed any fraying on mine. I haven't personally used them on watercolor paper, but I've seen other people do that and say that they're fine. And that's just a lot to ask from a brush pen. So there are really just a lot of good things to say about this brush pen. It is not water resistant and it is actually very blendable. I'll show you a couple of examples, but I've also seen people use this brush pen and just kind of blend the colors into each other by using different markers for each letter. And because they're so juicy, you can kind of get away with almost blending them into each other. Similar to how you would watercolor, obviously it's different, but um, just the same technique kind of of dragging the color from one letter to the next. And just the fact that it comes with so many different colors, which I will swatch them in this video for you. I did want to show you these on a lettering worksheet. This worksheet set is the Simplified Lettering Beginner Bundle, and this is the larger size worksheet set because this bundle comes with both a larger size and a smaller size for a smaller brush pen. And so I've used these in a lot of these brush pens where I'm using this medium to large size brush pen. So if you want to go back and compare for sizing purposes, you can go ahead and do that. This is the capital letters, and I think for most of them so far I have used the lowercase letters, but I hope this still gives you a good example of the sizing when you're using this brush pen. When I first got these, I thought that the one downside to these were that you couldn't find them on Amazon, but I think that since then they have added them to Amazon. And that's always a plus for me when I can order something off of Amazon, but I will say that they shipped them to me from a different country and they came super fast. So the shipping for me definitely was not an issue. I am going to go ahead and swatch these for you. And one thing that I should have done is I should have written out all of the names of the brush pens because sometimes I think that the color of the brush pen with these looks a little bit different than either the color on the cap or the color inside. You can see the liquid inside the marker so I think that can maybe throw me off too because that's a different color than what the cap is sometimes, especially with the pinks. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and create, either I'll write it up or I'll make a printable um, where you can swatch these and leave that on my blog for you. If you would like, you can print it yourself or I'll just take a picture of my swatches so that you can see what the different colors are with the names right next to them. Um, I know there's a lot of different like pink options, a lot of different purple options, so I will go ahead and do that so that you can see the names side by side with the colors, and you can find all of that on my website at howtohandletter.com slash Karen, K-A-R-I-N. So I will do this similar to how I have a page on my blog for Tombow, where I have all of my Tombow resources in one spot. You can go to howtohandletter.com slash Tombow and see all of my Tombow tutorials and blog posts and videos and reviews and things like that. It's just a little bit easier to update you guys because I can't really come back and update a video if something changes or if I mess up on something. So to have a resource where I will keep it all categorized for you and I can just add to it as I have new tutorials, I hope that will be helpful for you. So again, that will be howtohandletter.com slash Karen. This box also comes with some blender pens, so I do have a little demonstration for you of a little bit of blending. But again, I actually think there's so much that you can do with these markers when it comes to blending. So if you would like to see maybe like a compilation of all the different things you can do with Karen markers, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to see my Sharpie stained review, I will link that one below as well. And make sure to check out that page on my blog if you would like updated Karen resources. And I will also link those worksheets down in the description box below if you are interested and wanted to grab some of those for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.